Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you are here for today's video because today we are doing a another crafty tutorial. So if you noticed all of the Halloween decor behind me, I obviously do what I want. I don't wait. With tomorrow officially being August, I consider it fall, which means it's Halloween. So I went ahead and put up my Halloween decor and I thought I might as well make some new Halloween garlands. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some super cheap and easy garlands like the one behind me or like the one that I'm holding here. Some of these I'm gonna be using in my own home, but then some of them I'm also gonna be selling in that booth that I sell my local inventory in Crafts App. So if you're ready to see how I made these super cheap and easy garlands, then keep watching. <laughs> All right, y'all, so for this craft, you're going to need several things depending on how you're wanting to decorate your garland. Now, I got all of these adorable little wooden cutouts from Dollar Tree. They have like various different shapes. So I got like a jack-o'-lantern, some ghosts, a witch's hat, and then somewhere around my craft room, I also have some little wooden cats as well. You're also gonna need some paint, whatever you're wanting to paint your little wooden cutouts with a paintbrush or sponge brush. And then for another garland, we're gonna be using all of this material that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. They had several different types of Halloween fabrics here. And each one of these rolls is 18 by 21 inches. So not too bad for only $1.25. Now I also get my twine or jute from Dollar Tree as well, along with all of these ribbons in the top row came from Dollar Tree. All the ribbons on this bottom row I got at Hobby Lobby. And you're also going to need some scissors to cut the various ribbons and strings and everything. And I also am using some fabric scissors for my fabric. All right, I'm super excited to jump into this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first I need to measure out my twine or jute. And I'm just going to use this ruler here. And I'm going to wrap it around depending on how long you want your garland. For this first one, I want to do eight feet. So I'm going to wrap it around here eight times. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'm gonna cut it right here and then that will be eight feet. And then the next thing I do is create a little loop at the end here so that you have something to hang it by. So I'm just going to fold over the end and I'm going to tie a knot right at the end of that string. And I always double knot everything just to be safe. Okay, so there is one end and now we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now we are ready to add to it. Okay, so here is the piece of fabric all spread out once we have unwrapped it and everything and before i cut it because there are so many super harsh creases and fold lines i'm just going to quickly heat up my heat press and lay this piece of fabric under there because it's about the size of my heat press and get out the majority of these wrinkles but if you didn't have a heat press then you could obviously use your iron or whatever Okay, so while I'm waiting on my heat press to heat up so I can iron out those wrinkles in that material, I'm gonna go ahead and cut and prep the ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree with my fabric cutting shears. And I'm just gonna be cutting some eight inch strips of all of the fabric and ribbon. So I'm just trimming that like ugly wire on the edge of the ribbon there off. And because I'm using my fabric shears, it is creating this zigzag pattern, which I'm gonna be keeping because I just like the way it looks. I think it adds a little bit of character and it's super cute. And then don't forget to cut your ends. And voila, there is our first piece. So I'm just gonna keep repeating this process until I've cut all of the ribbon and fabric into eight inch strips.
All right, so now that we have all of our fabric pieces cut out and laid out so that I can just go through, pick one up and tie it on our string. But basically I just pick up a piece of fabric and you're just double knotting it right over that jute or twine. So now I'm just going to go through and keeping them in the same order, I'm going to tie these all the way down for twine. All right, y'all, so I just finished tying on all of that fabric and ribbon, and now we have a gorgeous Halloween garland. All right, so moving right along to our other garlands, I'm gonna be using these little wooden cutouts that I got from Dollar Tree. Now, I went ahead and painted all of mine off camera, so I painted my little ghosties white. I painted those little black cats black. The witch hats, like a dark, deep purple and of course the little pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns we painted orange so i'm going to be doing two separate garlands with those little wooden cutouts so i'm going to go ahead and cut two six foot long pieces of this jute or twine all right so on the first one i think we're going to do the ghost and the pumpkins together because i really think the witch hat and the black cat look really cute together so we're gonna put these two together on this garland. So to hang my little wooden ornaments, I'm just taking a little bit of twine and I'm basically doing the same thing that I do whenever I make my freshies and I'm tying an elastic on. So I have my two little ends together and I just tied them in a knot and I'm pushing that knot down towards the end there like so, creating a little loop so that I can put it through the wooden ornament like so and then loop it on there like this so now i can just slide it onto the twine all right now before we are ready to put our little wooden ornaments on our garland i'm just going to go ahead and finish touching them up so i've already painted them all but i want them to look a little bit like distressed Kind of give them a little added character so i'm just taking like the tiniest amount of black acrylic paint and i'm just gonna go along the edges here All right, so just look at the difference. So this is the one that I added a little bit of black paint to around all of the edges versus plain. I think it looks much better with the extra detail. All right, so now that I have finished outlining all of my little wood cutouts, I'm gonna go ahead and thread all of these little loops through that I tied so that we can put them on the garland. All right, so now that I have all of my little ghosties and pumpkins on this garland, now I'm gonna add some ribbon to kind of fill up the space and decorate it a little bit more. So for this garland, I'm gonna be using these three ribbons that I got all from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna be cutting them all into eight inch strips. 
Okay, so basically I'm just gonna be taking the two ends of each ribbon and I'm kind of holding it over my twine or jute here. And what I'm gonna do is thread those two ends right through there. So it goes around our garland. I'm trying to do it as like slow as I can so you guys can get a good look, hopefully. So I have my two ends. And then I'm just going to pull Pull that tight, then pull my twine tight, and just pull again. And now we have a cute little ribbon tassel there. And from here, I'm just going to kind of trim my ends and make them all diagonal. And I'm just going to do like an alternating pattern in between all of the pumpkin and ghosts. Okay, so then the whole garland will just look like this. It'll be so cute. All right, just to show you guys the garland all hung up. I know it's kind of like hard to see with the background there, but look how adorable. Look how cute it is. So stinking cute, right? All right, so moving right along to our next one, we're gonna be doing the little witch hats and black cats. All right, so before I am ready to tie my little tiny pieces of jute on and actually hang these on the garland, I need to decorate my little witch hats just a little bit. So I'm gonna be using this black glitter ribbon and I'm basically just gonna put like a little band across the witch hat. I think it'll be so cute. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the back of it, and then I'm just going to hold the ribbon on there and wrap it around. Okay, and then I made some little tiny bows with that same ribbon, so I'm just going to put it right on top of that little band that we just did and look how cute okay so now i'm going to go ahead and attach my little strings here so that we can hang them on the garland like so all right so now that i have them on the garland now i'm going to go ahead and cut my ribbons into eight inch strips just like i did with the other one but for this garland i'm going to be using these three ribbons so same as before so like this and then fold the ends through that loop there and then pull. All right, and now we are all done with this one. All right, and here this one is all completed. So cute, love how it turned out. I think I have to say that the ghost one is my favorite of the three garlands that we made today, for sure. Only because I have a little obsession with ghosties, but I think all three came out amazing. All right, so here is the little ghosty and jack-o'-lantern garland. I had to hang it on my mantle to show you guys what it really looks like. I think it looks fabulous. All right, here is our little witch hat with the black cats. So cute. And last but certainly not least, here is our fabric ribbon garland. I absolutely love how this one looks, especially on mantles, but you could certainly put this, you know, wherever, but love how that one turned out as well. All right, guys, well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're watching this video, but you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.